Good afternoon, everybody. Um, so as we go further into topic three, and we are continuing to look at exponents, now we're looking at the idea of exponents and division. Now, remember that fractions are also division. Sorry, I had to grab a pencil. Okay, so this idea of seven eighths divided by seven thirds is the same as, okay, or I'm sorry, seven to the eighth power divided by seven to the third power is the same as eight sevenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And yes, I usually count them twice because it's so easy to mess up. Divided by, and that's why I wrote the fraction bar, three sevenths, seven to the third power. Okay. And because of that, notice that these two would cancel each other. And these two would cancel each other. And these two would cancel each other. That leaves you with one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Two, three, four, five. These were all canceled out, so that's just a one. Okay. Instead of writing all that out every time, because that would get incredibly tedious, the rule states, because this is true, that we can simply subtract the exponents when they have the same base. Now, it's unbelievably important that they have to have the same base. But once that happens, you could just do eight minus three and it's seven to the fifth power. I will consistently remind you of why we do something because in my world, if I know why the rule exists, the rule is a whole lot easier to remember. Okay, I don't want you memorizing a bunch of rules. I want you to understand and then realize a rule exists to help you, to make it more efficient. Okay. Now, what if it's already a division problem, a fraction, and that is raised to the power? Okay. There are two ways to show this. It means that this is this fraction that many times, okay? Which can also be shown as three to the fourth power over five to the fourth power. Notice that that can be distributed, okay? And that is three times three times three times three five times five times five times five, okay? But we would almost never write it that way, okay? This is why these match one another. This is why. But you would honestly answer this just in exponential form, three to the fourth power and five to the fourth power, or you would multiply it all the way out. Okay, so this is fraction exponent form or the value which would be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 81 and 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, 625, okay? Now, for these, 
we're either going to keep the exponents really small for you to find values, or we are certainly going to use a handheld calculator. Okay. We are not going to use Google or the internet, but we certainly will use handheld calculators um, just to speed up and make things a little bit more efficient. In class, we will do a few more examples, but hopefully you can see that that is how it works when a fraction is raised to a power or when the same base with exponents is being divided. Have a great day.